We started off with nothing and uh, with little to no experience. Uh, with making a poster and I think with the uh, lectures provided by uh, you guys and the uh, uh, yeah, demonstrations about the posters, I think the process was really good. Hi, my name is Sabina and I work at the SLU University Library and today we're going to talk about how to make an academic poster. Making a poster is a fun and creative way to teach others about what you have learned. What are some exciting conclusions you were able to draw from your thesis? Your job is to create a poster using both text and pictures to attract an audience, to encourage them to learn more about your thesis. This is an academic poster. Here four students have presented their research with a combination of text and pictures. It's all about capturing the audience's interest. You only have a few seconds to capture their attention and to get them to continue reading. It should be clear who created the poster. Catch the audience's attention, be easy to read, have a clear message and be well adapted to the target audience. Who are you trying to reach out to? What story do you want to tell? What should you have in an academic poster? It is not required to include all parts of your thesis and you are not obligated to follow its structure. What you choose to include depends on what you want to highlight from your thesis. The conclusions are often the most interesting part. Maybe your background and your method could be excluded. Keep in mind you are the one deciding how the poster should be arranged. But what you should do is try to create a logical structure to guide the reader. Here the students have chosen to structure their poster via the introduction, their aim, their conclusion, and then their results. Here we can also see that they have used color to highlight their conclusion, which shows the audience that this is the most important part of their poster. These students have chosen to put their references in a QR code here at the bottom of the poster. What should you keep in mind? Well, don't include too much information. Focus on your main message. You have a limited space to use when you're making your poster. This is where layout becomes important. At SLU, we have our own template for academic posters. To find the template, you can either Google SLU poster template or you can find a link to it in the Thesis Day event on the student web. As you can see, these students have used the SLU template. On this poster, it is clear who are the creators of the poster. Which is good, this is something that we recommend. As you can see, the title is quite large. Uh, this is also good because the title needs to be readable from a distance. Also, try to avoid long titles since they are harder to read for the audience. It is important not to have too much text. When you have longer text sections, you can also try to present the information in bullet points, which are sometimes easier to read. Use colors to highlight your content. Here you can see that the students have used the color blue to highlight their conclusions. But be mindful that colors can also be distracting if you use too many colors or if the colors don't match well or if the colors makes it difficult to see the text or the pictures in your poster. Pictures are a good way to visualize data and capture the audience's interest, as these students have done. But remember that the pictures need to be related to your topic. When we talk about pictures, it's important to remember that you cannot use whichever picture you want. Either you have have to have taken the photo, or you have to have the permission from the person who took the photo. 
Alternatively, you can use free images under, for example, the Creative Commons license. To use free images from the Creative Commons license, go to the library's website to find out more. It is also good to visualize your data in tables or figures, like these students have done. But remember, they have to be easy for the audience to understand. Um, so the greatest challenge that we have found with making our poster is keeping the text uh, to a minimum so that it doesn't overcrowd the poster and it doesn't give the impression of being boring, but that the, the points are clear, um, but that we have to still get the message across it can sometimes be tricky. To summarize what we have been talking about, your poster should have a clear sender. It should be easy to see who are the creators of the poster. Your poster should also have a clear message, attract interest, be readable from a distance. This means that there should not be too much text. You should also use colors to highlight your findings and visualize your data. If you want to learn more, don't forget to register for the lecture and workshop on how to make an academic poster, which will be held in Alnarp, Uppsala and Umeå. We look forward to seeing you there.